Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Sim Airport. And our airport's making money, keeping our rank decent. Now it's time to build up that portfolio of cash. So we're going to get our flights in. We're going to start double stacking every hour. We're going to make a money. Lots of it. But we're, first we're going to see if our double stack actually causes a problem or not. We got a fairly large set of flights. It looks like they're getting out of here on time. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. We need to get another restaurant up. Get some money from that. Um, but I think we need to get a CFO. So I can start looking at the long-term budgeting and stability of, of our airport. Why are you guys all, like, yeah, spread out? Don't just, you know, butt munch up right over there. You need to spread that shit out. So money. That's all I'm all I want. It's looking good too. It's looking like I'm gonna be able to get it. Money That's my money song. It's beautiful. Uh, I could do a dessert kiosk as well. Like right there. It actually fits there too. How much is that gonna cost me? Fifteen thousand with a hundred hour lease. It's hundred. Fifteen thousand hundred hour health food kiosk. The kiosks are really tempting to to go hard into. So I think I probably will, because it gives me the ability to have that uh, extra revenue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, a snack kiosk put that one inside yeah do a health food one people people are like healthy time right I don't know I don't really care we just want their money just want their bloody money I need to know how much these are making I really need a CFO must research finance, so I need a COO and a CFO. Need two freaking offices for this shit. Two of them. I did say. I think I did say something about waiting until a full day to see how much we make. But um, as you can see, I am not doing that <clears throat> for very important and scientific reasons of impatience. So I'm going to spend the 18 grand that we had to put the first office in and claw my way out of the hole instantly. That was sexy. That was just like, what hole? Bitch. Clear that away, clear that away. Okay. They're going to get nice ass floors too. They're going to get carpeting. Going to get like going to get that kind of carpet. That's going to be sweet. Yeah. Mm. Come on. Where's that other flight? There it is. Boom. Nice carpeting, right? Right? I'm so cool. They get their own door. Oh man. Look at that carpeting. I'm jealous. Then get an office chair. We'll rotate that shit. Are you kidding me? I'm the best. I think those were my tiny planes. Yeah, it sounds like a tiny plane. Not making me any damn money for my office chair problem. Oh. <laughs> we have so little money right now. I need a big plane. They call me Big Purper. We'll clear the zone later. I was thinking, you know, I could clear that zone. Get that straightened up, but nah. Let's get that office chair in here. Um, eh. I thought they had like a filing cabinet or some shit they needed. 
Or was that prison architect? I think that's prison architect. What's that? Light rail service. Oh. Must be placed on the left side of the light rail tracks. Oh. That's cool. Alright, so we got that office done. Let's turn it into one. Office. Kaboom. Let's clear some zone. Or, no, it's planning. So that's our, our COO's office. You know what? You know what? It's the COO. It should be able to look outside and see the money coming into our, our building, right? Yeah. Yeah, it should. Let's just be like... Wall of windows for the COO. CFO don't get that. You don't get that just anywhere. Uh, must research operations. Oh, I can get finance and operations independently. Kind of want finance first. But that's the COO's office. Co you know what? That's the CFO's office. Fuck the COO. We're going CFO, baby. Yeah. Let's schedule another flight. Where's my tiny planes? 19 max. So we got an evening flight. 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Um, spark jet. Still accept that. Boom. Give me that fat money. Give me that extra flight. Look who's real happy now. Finance. Give it. Alright, now how much money do I need for the COO's piddly ass office? Just so we can say that we got them all. You know, like Ash Ketchum. Uh, those are walls. We need foundation. So another 15 grand? Not gonna happen right now, friendo. Friendo Calrissian. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Go make me money. Oh, how did you do that? He just, turn, he just turned on a dime and went the other direction. It was amazing. Oh, look at that money. How are your passengers? Still getting through the line, but not too bad. All the way through the line. Everybody's already through the line. We can handle a double big flight. That sounds like some sort of like fast food meal. I have a double big flight with an extra side of spinny plane. What the hell happened there, guys? You wanna... Wanna form the rest of us? No? You're good? Alright. That's our research. 53%. We're almost there. Lovely. So now we got people, you know, earning their keep here. Like, every, every day. Everybody's busy. And we're still in the high 90s of satisfaction. That's pretty good. Anything over cleanliness and environment. Oh, we're dragging me down. You know what? Boom, boom. Two janitors. Raise boom, boom, room. Uh. There's your cleanliness. And then you're hungry. We'll get you a health kiosk later. Gotta get our research done, yo. We could do a health kiosk now. Uh, that one's too big. Could be a snack shack. Could be a snack shack. There you go. A snack shack! With bundled workers already. Alright.
Alright, so you gotta get me $100 an hour. And you're doing that. Pretty steadily, actually. Snack shark! Tiny planes incoming. Which means big planes should be coming in too. Shlooboo! Tiny plane loading up, big plane loading up, money coming in. And we can get our CFO kaboom. Oh. I was gonna kaboom the CFO into place. Now he's never gonna be in place until you know the next plane lands. Oh, come on. Alright, there we go. We'll just do it like that. CFO's office. Look at him. Look at him, he's so happy to be here. He can't even stand how happy he is. I'm happy he's here because I can go to reports. And look at my PL. And we've spent a lot of money to get you here, buddy. You better be worth it. Daily cash flow. There are very few days in which I am doing good. But there are very even fewer days in which I am doing bad. Like my major expenses are not outstripping my cash by too much. Look at my day one expenses. Of course, you know, we've never been back close to 100k. Because I'm investing. Investing in flight ops. Or something. We are now in the red. And we know that. That's tragic. What other reports can I see? Keep clicking on that one. Staff info. I have 12 staff, one administrator, three workmen, five janitors, 16 security personnel. We're very security conscious here at Slug Pit Airport. Um, have we had a day where we actually made money? Yeah, we've had several days. All right, that day was a bad day. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna go a whole day and I'm not gonna spend a dime. I'm just gonna keep this chart like here so we can see it and see what happens. I wonder if I can get to like 65,000. I bet I can. Like, that's just my baseline. This right here, 65,000 is my baseline. The lowest we have gone is negative. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta... You gotta spend money to make money. That's the old adage, right? Ooh, laddie. <laughs> we're, we're really far in the hole. <laughs> Oh, my stores, you better be making me money. The coffee shop is a loser, look at it. Nobody's going there. The snack bar is doing good. Coffee shop? Ah, it's so great. Might have to get rid of it. it Cost me $100 to operate it. So if I don't clear 100 we're wasting money. We're, we're green temporarily snack kiosk is where it's at that's where people are happier I'm gonna turn my fan on it's getting hot in here Woo! all right sorry for the extra noise in the background damn fan you noisy but you know what? It's better than cooking to death while I record, so we'll take it. Bringing on the money! Yeah. I would love to see the green bubble way above the red bubble at the end of today. That's how you know we're in a healthy position. So, we'll, we'll see... We'll see what we get. I'm optimistic that we can be above the red bubble today. 
I'm not sure I should be optimistic. Money's coming in, though. That's always good. And then... Money goes out, but at a smaller rate. I mean, we, we are back from, like, negative 1,300 or whatever we started out the day with. So, I mean, theoretically, and this is, this is high theory, theoretically, we can let this run and get to $100,000. Because we're at, we're at 13000 right now, so we'll be, like, twelve. By the time these planes take off. And everybody's happy. Airline interest is actually pretty high. You know, we could double stack planes. We're still in the 90s for our, our approval. You're, not, you're never going to be 100%. But our approval is just real nice. There's 13,000, and we're not even at the end of the, the daylight hours. Solidly 13,000 at that. So if, if we were to bring in extra an extra set of flights for each hour that we have uh, single flights on, we would definitely be rocking more cash. Here come the tiny planes. We have double flights now, so those tiny planes are no longer loss leaders. Yeah, you know, no longer little bumps to keep us going. They are now cash cows. Look, my green dot is over my red dot. 32,770 versus the 20,000 we spend to operate the place. It's a $10,000 net gain. And growing. Ooh, baby. Baby, 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 give me that money. Little plane. Big plane. Here she is. More money. Yeah, that's sexy, yo. We're almost at 20 grand in a day where we started down 13. I, I'm really excited to see what the P&L for today is. Day's not over yet. We still have two flights three flights total coming in so that's going to be 20 grand solidly flight incoming in route departing these two will land together all right Not bad. Not bad at all. So in the day in, in you know the high nineteens. Yeah, I can accept that. Getting these planes offloaded, loaded up, getting them out the door, running over our baggage claims. What are you doing? We have one person? Just fell asleep on the stool. What a goober. So we ended the day at 20,000. That's that's amazing. Look at that. Day ended, $47,000 made, $28,000 expended. Let's look at our P&L for yesterday. We had a net gain of $18,000. That's nice. We could trim the cost by dropping some of our staff. Um, I'm not sure I want to. Today, we're starting out with losses. We made $400 in runway fees based off the time that, that people were leaving. Retail is not carrying its own. The coffee kiosk is just not making money. I'm thinking we might have to get rid of it. 
Let's dismantle that. We're going to reinstall the coffee kiosk inside the terminal. Because everybody's stacking up at the ATMs and stuff like that. They may not have money out here. I need to put an ATM out there. But let's go ahead and get the coffee kiosk built. Mm, that's going to cause problems. I don't think people could get around that. So it's not going to get built there. We need to widen this, essentially. Coffee kiosk is going into storage. Now let's put an ATM out here. Um, right there. That'll help people get some cash to go to our kiosks. Hopefully this kiosk will... St oh man, this kiosk is just building up the steam. That snack bar is just running the gambit of money. That's nice. Let's go to research, see what we got. Pricing and loans. Um, um, I don't know. Land expansion, which is kind of nice. COO light rail as well. Road building standby gates. Oh, that's interesting. Upgraded buses for thirty thousand. Light rail fifty thousand. Hmm. Okay, let's see. That would get me room for my kiosk in here. So we're gonna invest in um, expanded services for our guests. So we're back to spending money as we make it because we are interested in giving our guests a pleasurable experience. And the game is lagging because of the pleasurable experience I'm trying to provide to my guests. Alright, let's get that coffee. Ooh. I didn't realize there was a small bar. We could put that in there next to the coffee kiosk. Coffee kiosk and then a small bar? Hell yeah. The coffee shop. Kabloom. Let's see if you make more money there inside the terminal. Yes, you do. Holy shit, yes, you do. Damn. Let's go, let's go check my P&L for, for that now. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee kiosk. Put it down in like three seconds. Made $1,100. It needed to be inside. Look at that. That's just banging. Yeah. The snack kiosk is looking a little sad now. I don't even know if it's worth having out there if I can just put it in here and just make all the money. Okay. Um, snack kiosk. There we go. Dismantle that ATM. That bad boy in storage. Snack kiosk. Clear in hundreds. Coffee kiosk. Not really loving the competition, actually. Then again, we're on our small flights right now, aren't we? So the fact that we're breaking even is a pretty good sign for what uh, the next day is going to hold for these guys. Um, where's that extra ATM that I had? We're going to put one more in here. ATM. ATM. Where the fuck is it? I thought it was up here. Yep. Yeah, I'm just blind. ATM right there. Didn't cost me a dime. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're crushing it. They are crushing it. And people... 
real happy. They just want the environment to be nicer now. And they're just streaming out of the airport. People are queuing up for their flights. Everybody's taking a dump and getting out. Loving it. We spent all that money, the day hasn't ended, and we're back up to 16,000. Ooh, that is just sexy. Daily cash flow. Lots of expenses. I think we still managed to break even. Look at that. Day 26 income is $49,000. The report's broken. Okay. Um, p and L for day twenty six. Let's see it. We actually lost four thousand dollars, but we spent a lot of money yesterday. First day we made eighteen. I think today, just for my retail and maybe my staff is what's killing me. Just my regular staff. The thousand dollars. If we look at my kiosk income, we're losing money right now. But at the end of the hour, I bet we, we go green on this. Look at that. Yeah. I was off. So, I mean, they do have a lot to make up for. And they're going to get there pretty quickly. A lot of hours didn't make their money. Okay. So we're we're to three hundred really? I would have thought we were balancing out. Hmm. The infrastructure costs for the kiosks are, are kinda high. So I really need them to be making like 400s every time. Because of those down hours, they're not making enough to cover them. And we got like four down hours we have to overcome before we start making a profit. So really, these don't become profitable to like the middle of the day? Maybe? I don't know, they lost money there. They're negative 425. Somebody missed their flight waiting in line. There's other ATMs, you know. Come on, the hour's getting long. You covered your operating costs. Twice. You've covered your operating costs twice. We've made a $4,000 profit. So we need $600 between the two of them in excess to break even. They're gonna get it. Like, they're getting close. Well, maybe not. Maybe we go down to one... to one, you know? If we could up it by five dollars, that'd be nice. Yeah, I think having two, we're just not making enough. I'm going to kill the coffee kiosk. We're going to go down to a single snack kiosk. So the snack kiosk needs to make $800 in a single hour to, to break even. It's not going to happen. They're a total loss leader today. Definitely think having two right now is not working for us. And maybe having one won't work. Maybe we just can't sustain a uh, a snack bar economy with this this population. But we're still, I mean, they're they're making enough money to cover their daily losses on an individual snack bar level.
I think. I don't know. Because I thought it cost only a hundred dollars to run. Which means we only need a hundred dollars to cover their costs. Transportation is just straight expensive. Runway fees are making me money. Terminal fees are where the real bank is at. Hmm. Infrastructure is expensive. Staff is killing me. That's okay. I mean, we're making money. It, it's not an issue of are we in the red. Because we are making money. We have $36,000 in the bank. I mean, it's not like we're sitting here going, oh man, we're going to not be able to pay our employees. But I want my, my kiosks to be a profitable arm of the airport. I don't want it to just be runway action that makes us money. So we're going to finish out the in-game day and then we'll wrap the episode. Yeah, get off those planes. Then get back on the planes. Woo, look at them go. And they're out of here. See, they made enough money to, to last that hour. So day 27, the kiosks weren't profitable. Well, we made $22,000. Like, we go to our report. Pull that up. Big old green ball right there. Big old green testy. Day 26 did not make a profit. I think that's kind of important to see. They didn't make a profit either. The snack kiosk versus the coffee kiosk. So no, our kiosks are not currently profitable. Like if you look at this. Our snack kiosk is in the hole by a hundred and sixty dollars. Just at the start. Just retail in general, I mean, it's hundred and sixty dollars in the hole. They have to overcome four hundred dollars in income in a single hour in order to make up for their losses at night. Well, there's five hundred dollars. That's that's their losses in a single night. We are now profitable on retail with one single stand. So we can do one stand. That's where it's at. This stand is now profitable on its own. But when you have competition, you can't do that because we don't have the population for it. Understood. We're still technically in the hole for the day. We haven't had enough flights. We just rolled over to being out of the hole for the day. We will no longer be in the red on our, our income. That's nice, man. It's a lot of money. I am pleased. I technically could bring in double flights, too. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button in YouTube below you know to get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.